Hi everyone, thanks for logging on to this video. Um, I wanted to talk about dress watches and sports watches today. I have these two out from the safety deposit box and before these go back I thought I'd compare these two because when I was watching and reading and learning about watches before I started my collection with my very first watch uh, I thought long and hard about a sports watch versus a dress watch and at that stage neither of these were on my mind was the Omega DeVille line with the black leather strap and a white dial versus the Omega Speedmaster with the metal bracelet and the black dial so in the end I went with the Speedmaster as you may have seen in my other videos and I absolutely love it but at the end of the day, it was about which one was more versatile and which one suited me. So look, I hope you find this video useful. And uh, if you do find it useful, please do uh, give it a like and do subscribe because uh, I'm almost at 600 subscribers and it's really nice to see the subscriber number keep going up. So let's discuss the key differences between a sports watch and a dress watch. Well, a sports watch is exactly what it is, a sports watch. So you can do some activities with it. Mostly it's going to be very waterproof. It's going to be quite robust. It's going to be on a metal bracelet so that it's more secure. And it's going to have a few functions. It could be a chronograph, a diver's bezel. Um, those are the key sort of sports watch complications that there are and it's mostly a larger watch but if you compare that with the dress watch they're usually smaller and thinner and they don't tend to have complications on them they're usually three-handed watches hours minutes seconds but in this case it's got a little trick up its sleeve because it's got two time zones so but saying that my next dress watch is probably going to be a complicated one maybe a perpetual or an annual calendar with a moon face but still it's going to be a small thin watch with a leather strap and that tends to be what a dress watch is thin small and on a strap so which one should you choose well it depends on what you want to do and it depends on what you already have if you ask yourself well how often do I wear a suit and how often where do I how often do I go to a black tie event and if the answer is well only once a year or twice a year the chances are you're really not gonna be able to justify spending five six seven thousand or more or maybe ten 20,000 in case of a Calatrava on a dress watch because you just simply wouldn't wear it if you're going to be out and about in shorts or jeans uh, although you could certainly wear one of these um, every day a sports watch is going to be more versatile for you but if you're going to wear a suit on a daily basis or every once or twice a week and you wear long sleeve shirts then a dress watch just might be the one for you who should buy a sports watch well I think everyone should have a sports watch in their collection because no matter what we do on a day-to-day -day basis we still go on holidays we still do activities on weekends and a nice sports watch will always have its place but if you had to choose just one it's not easy because you're kind of de deciding on a watch to wear long term and I think the Reverso is really one of the really good everyday dress watches because the case is almost always steel um, it's thin yet it's designed in a way that it can be worn every day it's rather inexpensive to service well not this one because it's a complicated reversal but a simple single side reversal is about six seven hundred euros so 
going off point here. Coming back on point. A sports watch versus dress watch. What do you guys think? Do you have favourites? In my case, obviously when I started I loved sports watches. And now the tables are certainly turning because my collection is very much sports watch heavy. And my next acquisitions are going to be a dress watch. Um, so leave your comments behind. Uh, and if you have any questions about the reverse or the sub, I'm happy to answer them or any of my other watches in my collection or question in general about watches I'll do my best to answer it um, and once again thanks to everyone who subscribed I'll try and keep the content coming and uh, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed do subscribe because I will keep bringing useful content I'm not gonna come with content just for the sake of making content but uh, if there is something that I think would be useful uh, for the fans of the channel I will make it so thanks for the subscriptions please do like the video if you like it I must apologize for the lighting and the focusing but this is the lighting and the camera that I have so I try to do the best I can with it for this hobby so thanks